What's going on guys, it is Welsh here and welcome to a different video today, a slightly different video. Um, as a massive Blackman Rovers fan, that's one of the people that don't know I am a Blackman Rovers fan. One of the reasons I'm actually doing the Blackman Rovers series on YouTube, the crew mode series. Um, it's been a big, big day around six hours ago now, something like that, when I'm recording this. Blackman Rovers got relegated to League One, which was absolutely, it's just massive. It's, I think it's massive just in general for football, just for the club, and everything. It's a, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely devastated as a Blackman Rovers fan. There's no other way to put it. There really is. And i got three topics I want to talk about today regarding Blackman Rovers. Generally, a general summary of the season and that type of thing. But... A lot of it is surrounding Venkis and then next season as well. So I'll talk about each thing in a few moments' time. But guys, before I get on into that, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe, guys, for plenty more content. If you want to see more videos like this, more Blackman Rovers vlog type content, let me know in the comment section below because if you do enjoy it, I will make it. Because um, I love like ranting about it. I'm on it on Twitter all the time. So that's one thing I want to mention as well. Drop my Blackman Rovers um, fan account a follow. We've just clocked over 700 followers, which is pretty awesome. I've only been doing it for the last uh, six months or so. Well, just before, uh, longer than now, actually. I should say about nine months. Um, I've been doing it for a little while, and I've been really, really enjoying it. So make sure you go follow me at Talk Blackburn um, over there if you are a Blackburn Rovers fan. Uh, we'll be talking about a lot of the, this type of stuff over there as well. I get a lot of friends get your guys' opinion. Um, but anyway, right, so let's get on into this video. Let's talk about this season, right? This season's opinion, I'm going to try and take out the equation of Venkis. I'm going to try and keep them out of this. I am literally going to try and just think, you know what? Let's just keep them, them out of the equation at the moment. Because they, the, they are the bottom line problem to Blackburn Rovers. But I really don't want to give, say, oh, it's just Venkis. Venkis is the issue. Venkis is that. Venkis is that. And it, it's kind of pointless. That's going to be my second part of this video. But anyway, my, one of the main reasons I think we ended up getting relegated, obviously one main fact that we lost too many games. But seriously, I think everything happened too late. Everything happened too late to when it should have been. For example, the sacking of Coyle. Like, that should have happened three or four weeks prior to it actually happening, in my personal opinion. To be honest, he shouldn't have even been hired like a bolt then. Um, Burnley manager as well. But the big thing is, is this. But anyway, so... He was literally just sat by Houston Dynamo as well prior to actually coming to us. And it makes me wonder why you would hire a manager like that. I understand he's done well with Burnley again and promoting and that type of stuff. But you just don't hire that type of person. You could have a lot of other managers out there at the time. I understand nobody wants to come to Blackburn Rovers. But um, it just I just don't understand why they hired him. But anyway, after all that happening... We should have sat him about three to four weeks prior to him actually being sat. Tony would have come in, and I think we would have been safe. I honestly think if we had an extra few weeks, we would have been safe, and we would be in the championship today. We would have been in the championship, and I think Nottingham Forest would have been relegated from the championship if that's what actually happened. But unfortunately, it didn't. Because, for example, the change of the sorting out the defence happened too late. Um, just sorting the team out, changing steel with Raya, that happened too late as well. Obviously, that's under the Tony era. But it's just one of those things. I just generally think everything happened a tad too late. Because if it didn't, we would be fine. I think we would be absolutely safe. So the timing issue was completely wrong. Like, obviously, they've had Tony lined up because he was hired straight away. He was hired straight away after. He was odds favourite instantly. So why wasn't he? Why wasn't he brought in like a few weeks before? That's what kind of makes me wonder. But that's one of the big issues with this season that's happened. I think it is literally the timing and everything, the sacking of Coyle, the change of defence, the sorting out the team, the hiring of Tony. Literally, I think that, that timing's all wrong. I honestly, I think it is. That's the biggest issue that I think we've actually had. But anyway, kind of moving on from that now, that's just try and keep that quick and simple. Um, what one of our bottom line problem is, is our owners. We've seen it with Leeds, we've seen it with Nottingham Forest, uh, we've seen it with several clubs. Just the owners not appreciating football, 
the club just using it to make money somehow. Like Blackburn Rovers, Venkies have literally stripped every single asset that Blackburn Rovers have. In my opinion, Marshall was the only valuable asset that we had this season. But with the likes of uh, Bennett, um, uh, Graham, Steele, and Lowe, I don't know if people want to buy Lowe, if I'm honest, but I think they're the only four real valuable players that we actually have. Conway is very, very good. He's got some money in him, but the only ones which are worth over a good couple of million. Um, they are all they are all basically gone now. All these are worth a good couple of thousand. But it's like, Vengas are just stripping and stripping and stripping the curb of literally everything. They sat janitors the other day, or the grounds when I can't remember what who it actually was, if, if I remember correctly. But it's literally taking the mick. It is taking the mick. And I don't know what we can do as fans anymore. Like, what do we do? Do we go out and support Blackburn Rovers? Do we go out and support the players? I really honestly don't know how to re react to this. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm angry. I'm tempting. I'm filming at Venkies. But what do we do to change it? An interesting quote from Stan Carlymore, he said that the Football Association has let Blackburn Rovers down as well as the owners. Of course, they had a little investigation seven years ago when we got taken over. But then, if nothing else has happened. You can see what they're doing right in front of you. And the thing is, though, Venkis are having massive, massive profits out in India. Because of everything going on with Blackburn Rovers... The value out in India has gone huge. It has gone absolutely huge. Honest to God, they have done amazing for themselves, right? But for some reason, do I need a light on? I don't I don't think I do. No, no, I don't, because you can't really see me. But honest to God, as a business financially, they're doing incredible because of us, because they are ripping us a part of everything. And honestly, literally, it is enough is enough now. I don't know what we can do. The only way Venkies will sell is if literally a person comes in and goes, we are buying this club, no matter what, we'll take you to court and we'll get it off you. That's the only way we get, they, they're going to get rid of us. Or we just literally, we go down the leagues, go down the leagues, we end up in the conference. That's literally the way it could actually happen. That's the way it could actually happen, honestly. But at the start of the season, I did say, sorry, back in like November, I would say, so there's a few games in after the Coyle era, I thought to myself that we have not hit rock bottom yet because we've been in such an up and down loop in uh, the championship, not playing so well, sacking of so many managers, owners not signing players, selling players and all this type of thing. I honestly think we needed to be relegated to bounce back up, dominate League One and then work our way up. That's how I thought thing that was should happen and that's what's happened right now. We have been relegated. Um... And hopefully we will bounce back. So, right, that's my rant against Venkis then. Literally, let me know your opinion on Venkis. I know if you're a Black and Rovers fan, fair enough. Let me know in football in general with owners. And while you're commenting down here, let me know who you support so I know where this opinion is coming from. Um, but anyway, right, let's move on to the next season. Let's do this quite quick now. Let's move on to the next season. And let's see what uh, my opinion is. Have I not got a light or anything? Let me put the back lights on. That might help a little bit. But anyway... As I was saying, right, moving on to the next season. Next season, I think it's going to be tough. I think it's really going to be a tough one. I honestly don't think we're going to keep a lot of our players. I think a lot of our players will go. I don't think we will end up keeping the likes of Bennett, Graham. Uh, I hope Steele goes. I hope Lowe goes. But I got a feeling a lot of players will not stay. We got around five to six low knees on as well. So they're going to be all going back. Hoban, Gallagher, Ems, um... This is a, I can't remember who else it is. But um, I think we got rid of Hendrik. I think he went back, but I'm not too sure. But we got so many players who are out on loan, uh, who've come in on loan even, I should say, that, that we're going to lose them next season. So they're going to be gone. And one of my opinions was, I put this up on Twitter, on Talk Blackburn, and I said, do we work from the youth now? Do we start putting more youth players out? Walton had a brilliant season for Cambridge when he went out on loan. Um, that's one of the reasons he ate Venkis. The only reason he went out on loan was because he would have got a bonus on his first, on his wage because he played a certain amount of first-team football. That is a freaking ridiculous. <laughs> the guy was playing incredible. Sorry, guys, I need a quick drink. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, 
Um, I think we're going to struggle next season. I would like us to see. My heart says we will bounce back first season. We will win the league if we keep certain players. But if we don't keep certain players, we will struggle. I honestly think we will. A lot of people don't realise the championship, the lower leagues, eat you alive as a football team. I think Sunderland will struggle next year in the championship. But I honestly think they will. They won't keep a lot of their players. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I honestly think that we are going to struggle. If we don't keep a lot of our players. I think if we keep Mulgrew and Graham, the two main players which I think we need to keep, we will get promoted. I think that will happen. But we will struggle without a doubt. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that we will get promoted first season or not? Do you think Blackman will get promoted first season? I put a poll on Twitter. And at the minute, it's on about 300-odd votes. And literally, majority think we won't get promoted first season. Majority think that we won't get promoted first season because they are thinking the fact that we will lose a lot, a lot of players. And I agree with them. I agree that we will lose a lot, a lot of players. Um, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Um, but guys, that is the end of it. And I've been running for like 10, 11 minutes now, and I think I need to wrap this up. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of Blackburn Rovers' season this so this season? How do you think it went? I know we got ready to get, but let me know your opinion on it. What went wrong? Let me know your opinion on Venkies. Um, and if you are a rival fan, feel free to rip me apart because I've dealt with it all day. I would give it back to you. I, I honestly, I would. If I had the opportunity, I would rip it back right in you. Um, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below um, your opinion on the season for Blackburn Rovers. And yeah. I'll see you next time. Honestly, guys, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And, um, yeah, a little vlog card. Guys, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want more, I'll do more Blackman Rovers topics. Because there is a topic I want to talk about with the takeover with Blackman Rovers. Something like that. Not Venkies, but potential future takeover. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you are a massive Blackman Rovers fan, follow me on Twitter, Talk Blackburn. Thanks for your support. A devastating season. Honestly, I'm absolutely devastated uh, for Blackman Rovers. Um, and as a Blackman Rovers fan. But I will see you next time. Subscribe and like. Follow me on Twitter. Talk Blackman. Bye-bye. I do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right in